morning everyone. Hello, hello and welcome to Chatter Time. I'm just seeing if anyone's joining us this morning. If you haven't come to Chatter Time before, Chatter Time is a session for children under five and their parents or carers to come and join us to learn a bit about language and hopefully have lots of fun. So if you're coming in, if you're joining us this morning, you can pop your child's name in the comments and then I can sing hello to them later. Yep, I hopefully I'll be able to see it today because I've had to use my phone but it seems to be working. So pop your child's name in and I'll say hello in a minute. So as you know if you've come before the first bit of chatter time is talking to parents. So children I've got a challenge for you while I chat to your parents or your carers later we're doing something special we're making a magic cake now this cake doesn't need real food this cake needs some toys to make it so if you've got any special toys like some of mine that i'll show you give you a quick sneak preview you might want to pop some in a little bowl to come and make a magic cake later if not don't worry you can watch and you can do it again later so just a quick reminder if you're joining us, if you put your child's name in the comments, if you want to, then I can sing hello to them later. Otherwise, children, you can go for five minutes while I chat to your adults. So we always have our tip of the week, parents, carers, for you to try out at home. Today's session is about offering choices. Now, this is one of my favourite tips because it's a nice, simple one and it's very effective. So as it says on the tin, you can offer your child choices to help with their language. So the best way of doing that is to show them the objects. So you might say to them, oh, what do you need? What do you need? Do you need a knife or a spoon? A knife or a spoon? They can then choose. They might choose by reaching or pointing, or they might try and copy your word, spoon. And then you can give them the one they've asked for. It's really helpful to show children as you're saying the words for a couple of reasons. One is they might not understand what you're saying when they hear the words. The second is that your object lasts longer than the spoken word. So it's easier for them to kind of grab onto that and, and know what you're saying. Um, you can do this with lots of different things. So if your child is working on different language, you can offer different choices. Um, you know, what, what would you like? Would you like a big piece of apple or a little piece of apple? A big bit or a little bit? And you can do some gestures or some signs alongside it if you know them as well. Or you might say... Um, you might be playing a game and you might say, shall I blow the bubbles up high or down low? Up high or low? So it's a really good one for introducing that concept language for the children who are ready for that. And just for introducing some of those everyday words for the children who are working at that level too. So today in our session, I'm going to be doing lots of choices um, and you can facilitate that at home as well. You can offer choices to your child at home if you're doing it with me or if you're watching it back later. If you're watching it back later, a good one is to pause it and see what they choose in something like the singing. And maybe you can sing what they choose instead of what I'm done, if that's different. OK, so. Can you get your children to come back? Children, it's your turn. If you're out there, come and join us. We're ready. Let's come and sit down and see what we are doing today. So, I'm sorry if this is backwards today. As I said, I had to do it on my phone because I'm having internet problems and I can't get it the right way around. But hopefully you can still see the pictures. So we're going to sing hello. We've got a special story today. This is our magic cake that I was telling you about. We're going to do some singing. Rice full, which is a little bit messy. And then we'll say goodbye. So we're going to start by doing hello today. 
Now I haven't seen anyone's names, my apologies if you have typed it in, but I haven't seen any come through. We're going to do something slightly different today, so if you're watching this back later, this is a good chance to pause. I've got some choices. So today I'm going to say, hello everybody, and how are you feeling? How are you feeling today? Are you feeling sad or happy? Are you excited or angry? Or something else, maybe you're feeling a bit worried or a bit scared or just a bit tired. So can you tell your grown up, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling happy, happy, but I'm feeling a little bit worried today because I was having trouble earlier making everything work for chapel time. How are you feeling? And children, maybe you can ask your grown-up. Maybe you can say mummy, daddy, granny, granddad, whoever's there with you, nanny. How are you feeling? And they can tell you. Well done, everyone. We have done our hello. Hello has finished. And now it's time for our story. Okay. So we've got our story today. We're going to bake a magic cake. Come on, everyone. Let's have some fun. Let's get ready to bake our cake. I've got my apron. I need to put my apron on. Keep me nice and tidy. There we go. I want my cake to be nice and fluffy. So I'm going to add a cloud. I want my cake to be nice and bouncy. So I'm going to add a slinky. Let's give it a mix. Mix, mix, mix. Stir, stir, stir. You're going to mix your cakes with me. Oh, I think we need something more. Oh, I want my cake to be nice and light. What shall I put in? Shall I put in some feathers or my scarf? What do you choose? Feathers or scarf? Hmm. I think some of you wanted the feathers. Let's put them in. And some of you wanted the scarf too. Let's put that in as well. Mix, mix, mix. Stir, stir, stir. I want my cake to be nice and bubbly. So I'm going to put in some bubbles. I want my cake to be nice and bouncy. So I'm going to put in a ball. I want my cake to be nice and colourful. So I've got some coloured eggs. Shall we put them in? I've got a gold egg. Crack, in it goes. I've got a yellow egg. Crack, crack, in it goes. I've got a blue egg. Crack, crack, in it goes. I've got a white egg. Crack, crack. In it goes. I've got a green egg. Crack, crack. In it goes. And I've got a red egg. Crack, crack. In it goes. Stir, stir, stir. Mix, mix, mix. Do you like my colourful cake? What do we need to do next? Shall we add anything else? Oh, do you know, I would like my cake to be shiny. So I'm going to add some tinsel. Hmm, I think that's a good cake. I think we're ready to bake our cake, aren't we? So, give it a final stir. Stir, stir, stir. Mix, mix, mix. I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to let it bake. And then... 
I've made a magic cake. This is my magic cake. It looks like a unicorn. And we've even got a candle. That was good, wasn't it? I had fun making my magic cake. I wonder what you would put in your magic cake at home. Okay. So we have finished our story. And now it's time for singing. So you can help me choosing for the song. So I've got three songs to choose from today. I've got Hickory Dickory Dock, Round and Round the Garden, and Zoom Zoom. So which one do you want first? Oh, I think some of you have chosen Zoom Zoom, haven't you? Are you ready? So let's get in our spaceships. Let's put our belts on. Are we ready? Let's go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll be there very soon in five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Blast off! Oh, up we go. That was fun, wasn't it? If you want to do some more, and you're watching this later, maybe you can pause it and have another go. Okay, we're going to do some more choosing. So which one would you like? Hickory dickory dock or round and round the garden? Let's do round and round the garden. So hold your hand out to your grown up. They can help you with this. Are we ready? Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickly under there. That was good, wasn't it? Should we do it again in case any of you have got more than one child with you? If it's just you, you can do it on the other hand. Are you ready? Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickly under there. Good job, everyone. Now we've got one song left. So let's choose our last one, which is Hickory Dickory Dock. Okay. Ready? Come sing with me. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Tick tock, tick tock. Well done everyone, you did some good choosing from my songs today. Parents, the pictures are great for this as well, or you can do it with objects if you've got a mouse to go up the clock and a teddy for round and round the garden. So our singing has finished and now it's time for our rice ball. Now this one is a little bit messy. I've got my rice here, it's all a bit stuck up, it's all stuck together. So let me see if I can open it. And then this, parents, this is another great one for doing some choices, as we said, some of those concepts. So children, what I'm doing is I'm just popping my rice in here to pour it. You can use other things, you could use pom-poms or uh, little plastic balls you've got pasta anything okay now i've got my got my bowl here okay and we're going to pour so ready steady go how do you hear this it makes a nice sound doesn't it now i've got a choice for you shall i pour it from up high or shall I pour it down low? What do you think? Up high? All right, let's try up high. Ready, steady, go. And down low. I can hear a nice little noise. Now, what next? Shall I pour a little bit or shall I pour a lot? What do you think? 
a little bit or a lot? Um, let's do a little bit first and then maybe we can do a lot in a minute. So let's do a little bit and listen to it. Pour, pour, pour. Now what next? A little bit or a lot? Shall we do a lot? Are you ready? Ready, steady, go. That was fun, wasn't it? We poured the rice and we heard the sounds it made. Maybe you can try some different things at home, pour in some different things and see what sound they make. But this one, that one's one to practice with your grown up. Okay, so we finished our rice full. So it's time to say goodbye. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to all the children. I'm going to sing goodbye to everyone. We'll sing to the children and then the grown ups. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, children. It was good to see you here. Goodbye, grown ups. Goodbye, grown ups. Goodbye, grown ups. It was good to see you here. Thank you for joining. And just a reminder we made our magic cake today, didn't we? And you can see what fun things you're putting your magic cake. And parents, for you, what to remember is your choices. So have a think about what, about what you're focusing on for your child and then do some choices. So it might be, do you want an apple or a banana? Shall we wear your shoes or your boots and holding up the objects? Or it might be some other concept language. Shall we pour it from high or low? Do you want me to blow you some big bubbles or some little bubbles? So give it a go. If you have any questions, you can always email us. I think this is going to come up backwards, so I'll put it on the post later. But you can email our contact address. Otherwise, come and join us again. We're going to have more chatter time. We've got a video that Charlotte's made for us that we'll have on Thursday. And then one of our team will be back live next Tuesday at half past ten. So thank you for joining me. And goodbye.